The sports wrought saga enters its third week, this time with remarkable revelations straight out of Bridget McKenzie's office. A former member of staff raising concerns about the $100 million program with the then sports minister's chief of staff around how it was being administered and really that they could get into trouble over it or the minister could get into trouble over it. The whistleblower who spoke exclusively to Sky News political editor Andrew Clonell says they raised their concerns back in late 2018 but were largely dismissed. The response from the chief of staff was this is how the minister wants it and basically that's life. The Auditor General found Minister McKenzie's parallel process ignored Sports Australia's independent recommendations favouring marginal seats over merit now her former staffer has lifted the lid on what that process looked like. There were occasions Miss McKenzie would go away for a trip and she would come back into the office and say, we should organise a grant for this electorate. It's been put to me that uh, what happened then was staff were told to find a grant in the electorate and run it through the Sport Australia process. Bridget McKenzie's office has not denied the former staffer raised concerns, telling Sky News in a statement... The Minister does not comment on purported conversations between staff in her office, neither currently or in the past. But it's proved further fodder for Labor, the opposition continuing calls for the Deputy National's leader to resign immediately. The Shadow Sports Minister saying the latest revelations into the government's sports fraud scandals show just how determined the Minister was to turn what was supposed to be a genuine grants program into an industrial-scale pork-barrelling scheme. Bridget McKenzie must step down, and if she won't, Scott Morrison must stand her down. The Prime Minister will deliver a major address to the National Press Club on Wednesday, outlining his plans for 2020. It now remains to be seen just how his embattled minister will factor into those plans. David Shiraz, Sky News Canberra.